Hello, guys. What's up? It is level three again. And in this episode, I will probably be beating the chapter two. Yes, here we are. Beautiful. Egg. This is where I hit it. Yeah, you just put it on a pedestal that's hiding it. Very, very nice. Duster, this is the certain important item I had instructed you to bring back. It seems to be known as the Egg of Light, or the Hummingbird Egg. But you were a moron, and you couldn't find it. Truth be told, not even I know anything about this egg. The hummingbird egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that, supposedly, apparently. And now that ball of secrets is needed. If this wound up in the wrong hands, the lid on the secrets would come undone and... Bad things would happen. Just what sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg? Not even I know. In any case, this hummingbird egg is our secret. And I just had an English accent in the middle of that sentence. When you weren't looking. But doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that... The egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds all the world's secrets? It very much does seem ridiculous. Indeed, it is quite ridiculous. But what's most ridiculous of all is this moron standing right here, Duster. This egg gives off such a thick scent of secrets that it's so concentrated, it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Yet you couldn't even match a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are. You're a failure as a thief. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that. Because if he really is a moron, he wouldn't understand anyways. Anyways, you can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Speak of the devil! Music. Gazer, Duster, let's get out of here. Shouldn't have done that. Princess, please wait. I know what appears to be sitting there nonchalantly, but I placed traps around the egg. Huh? Traps? Princess! My bad. All those skulls. Why are there so many skulls? Those are all the ghosts that are in the house. They get thrown in this little dump. Princess, are you alright? Why, you don't even care about your own son. Yeah, I'm just fine, but... Uh, whatever's the matter. If you're worried about that moron, don't be. You've been trained just for this sort of thing. No, it's not, Duster. The egg is gone. Come again? That moron isn't gone, but the egg is? Oh, the egg. Oh, and Duster. Yes, all right, well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far, but I take it all back now. You're no longer a moron. Hooray! Time for the chapter, boss. I don't know if I'd say her right just yet. Alright. So this is the Oso Snake. He has a wide variety of moves that are all water-based. And his moves are based around hitting everyone at once. He's very... Um... 
less physical and more watery. It's kind of a bad explanation. And he has a super powerful move, and after he uses it, he cannot do anything for a couple turns. And oh well, it's very rare for any of the thief technique things to work on him. So Duster is kind of absolute in this um, battle. You mostly want to be using thunder type attacks for this. So thunder bombs, PSI, and of course, I run out of PP. Use a magic gelatin. Come on, use a thunder bomb. You know you want to. Oh god. Oh my god, it actually worked for once. The sock technique actually worked. Scared of this. You need to life up. Oh, thank god. Thank you. For once, Wes is useful with that move. I did not mean to life up, Duster. You really did not need that. Okay, you know what? Of course you don't have something like that. Okay. Thunder! Yep, this is the move. Don't be worried about the safety, just... Throw socks! Throw socks! Like your life depends on it! Sprinting bomb. Let's try that. This is making lots of bubbles. Me too. Take some- No! I swear! Maybe Duster really is a moron eating all the dang beef jerky. Seriously, Kuma's gonna die. God, now all I have left is nut bread. No! Kuma's dead. No! Oh, that's bad. That is bad. We, we screwed. Kuma's not gonna get any XP for this. Dang it. Well, that sucks. I think Duster can do it on his own. If he tries. Yes! <sighs> so close, too. Kuma has to die right at the end. Whatever. Really? No level? Alright. Now what? Ah! Oh, you're awake, geezer. Where are we? My house? You and this especially tough girl will got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there. Because I would have pretended not to see you if it just been me. I see. Thank you, Fuel. Did you find that moron with us, too? Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. That moron. I mean, Duster. Taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. You were both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. Sprinting bomb or thunder bomb, I mean.
Let's look for him in town. Ah! Old Man West. Where's Duster, that scum bucket? He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well. And now it's gone. Which means Duster stole it. That was my money. You've already asked a thousand times, but where did you get that in the first place? And besides, what is money anyways? This sounds all too fishy if you ask me. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. But they never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in our village. But we all know they'd steal good stuff like money if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. Who are you? Friend of the thieves? No violence! No violence! Old Man West. Let's just... All of us calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You'd better come back soon. Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler.